Oh, the quietude of the pre-dawn time. When the hush of a divine reality sets herself upon the soul, awakening. And the intimacy of what heaven has proffered to the sleepy-eyed ones during the night refreshes their spirits for the new day dawning. As your queen of light, I come to invest throughout the earth greater light, greater consciousness, greater awareness of self wed to light who is God within. When you stitch the divine fabric of light throughout your being, precious ones, you involve yourselves in the alchemy of grace whereby that sacred garment, the omnipresent divine essence of self, in which you live, move, and have your being, refreshes all through its atmosphere of beauty, through its renderings of harmony and peace. And then you feel a greater welling up within you of God's presence, front and center in your life. You learn to live and breathe within this presence, with this presence, and the oneness of this tryst of the lesser with the greater then is the union of your soul with spirit already manifesting while you are living in this plane of being. The great ascending ones, east and west, have discovered the secret of life wherein light has been at the core of the dawning of the new personhood, the divine individuality of self harmonized in God. O oh, light, come forth now and dawn within these your servants. O oh, light, come forth and blaze through the apertures of self, each chakra now spinning and radiating light in the multiplicity of graces untold and blessings which now unfold within them. O oh, light, blaze forth throughout the earth, Scandinavia, my people, and those attuned to my heart, who through the wedding of self with God become co-creators with spirit of that light that serves all with its truths, its wisdom and understanding. O oh, light, free the darkened ones from their lack of vision 
and awareness. Free those caught in a web of self-deceit, of inner and outer deception. O light, free the minds of mankind to know thee, O God, through the purity of knowingness and the simplicity of beingness. Light, 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 come forth and energize and activate within the inner core of being of every servitor of that light, a new reality of Aquarian love, Aquarian understanding, Aquarian gnosis. Yes, blessed ones, Aquarius is available for those who are quickened to receive her divine emanations and ministrations. If you welcome her, the woman with the alabaster jar, she will be there to pour out upon you and within you the refreshing waters of spiritual grace, cleansing you of your past and awakening within you within the eternal now, future aspects of beingness that you do not even yet quite fully understand are available for your nourishment. Drink these in now and receive impartations of grace, O souls of light, 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 Consider that your daily fare from this day forward first and foremost is light. And then when you consume your meals of physical substance, there will be within them a greater quotient of divine energy for your health and well-being. See the table set before you by angels of the sacred fire. And then, as you receive and partake of your repasts, there will be greater light ingested at all levels of your being, spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical. You see, dearest ones, this is a stepping stone to what we as ascended beings, cosmic beings, know as our continuing nourishment in God through and of and by light. If you know this solar science, it will serve you well in coming days, months, and years, and even decades, as you attend to the requirements for your ascension. What is the primary requirement? I say, being all light. For when you are rich and full in light, then the Lord calls you home to his heart. For he has seen that you have discovered self through realization of that light within and then become one again with him. Light, 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 come forth now and shine your radiance throughout the nations and her peoples into the darkest recesses of what has accumulated within the astral plane and in the layers of samsara and illusion 
upon and within this earth. Light, 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 quell the forces that yet assail souls to keep them bound to an unreal state wherein they think they are evolved of animals when in fact they were created first in God's image and likeness akin to the divine and etched in fire and light in the beginning. Light, 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 light. Feel these impulses now within and around and through you, dearest ones. Why, one word can be your fiat, day and night, and that is light. For when you acclaim the divine light where you are, Many beings of light come to serve you, to safeguard you, and to restore within you those essences of that light which you require every moment. Light, 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 light. Say it with me throughout this day, throughout this 24-hour cycle, and then through the gleanings and the reapings of that light within, find a new fountain and resource wherein, even though it be near the time of year when there is the greatest outward or outer darkness, inside, dearest ones, you have gained entree into the divine worlds of light in greater measure, and therefore you may then be able to counteract all the outer darkness with that inner sanctum of beingness accessed through these fiats and what you feel within the fiat. Light, 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 light. Giving this call eight times brings the Buddhic light within your seven primary chakras and then the eighth chakra, the crystal chamber of the heart, wherein your threefold flame abides. And in this eightfold action, there is an alchemy of Buddhic beingness brought forth where you begin to sense a more pleasant self abiding in stillness and feeling the non-attachment state where you are now attached only to God, for you are one with your source. Oh, how mankind has yet to awaken to the greater divine intelligence and reality of divine light that resides within that essence of self within the threefold flame who is God, individualized for him and her. When you know this light as your true selfhood, as your source of being, all things are possible unto you in God. All things are realizable in your alchemies, for every alchemy, blessed ones, requires in its initiatic pathway light to create and to be godly. You have heard that light is the alchemical key 
And so it is true, even as love is the pure pathway to express that light virtuously and beautifully. Therefore, if light is that key to precipitation and to self-realization, then utilize it as the way forth daily in all your servings, in all your givings, and even at times in your wanderings here and there, Oh, blessed hearts, raise your cups to receive an elixir of light that my angels now serve you. And as you drink in this light elixir, there shall be an alchemicalization of its radiance throughout your being and especially within your emotional body. Oh, how your emotional bodies at times get the best of you through reactivity. The key to non-reactivity in all situations is to be centered in light and to be restored within the principles and precepts. The harmonic value of that light within self at your core. When you are centered in light, in this non-reactive buddhic state, you pass your tests, you enjoy the path itself, and then, as a pleasant one, you simply smile when others are losing their minds. Or way. And you, in the divine way, live in beingness, live in truth, live in the integrity of divine joy. Now I send a beam and a cosmic stream of light to my children in Scandinavia, calling them higher and preparing for the coming next year of the great solar lords, the Manus, the lords of the rays, who will prepare a festive light feast for all who desire to be there in August. For dearest ones, there shall be a raising of all of Scandinavia and the quintessences divine of spiritual light and fire and this will be point counterpoint, our divine warfare of greatness and godness to counteract what is transpiring throughout many quarters of Europe where the dark ones have marched here and there and everywhere to create confusion and the disintegration of cultures ensues. We have an answer to all of this, which we will reveal, and I will also appear in the heavens to those whose vision is open at that juncture, and there shall be a great conflagration a spiritual light for the victory of the mission of Sana Kumara and Venus and the 144,000. You have been waiting 
for the notable day of the Lord. I say, dearest ones, it is coming, and yet it is here daily. As you invest your light energies in this holy mission, in this rescue mission for souls throughout this planet, I am the Queen of Light. My realm is crystalline in nature and divine in origin, composed of light. Walk in that light and then ascend to perceive the higher worlds and live in the integrity of your true self always. Thank you, blessed ones. Now sing and dance and enjoy this new day in the divine light of your eternal God presence, the I am within. Thank you.